Imagine a better world. A cleaner world. A world where climate change has noticeably halted and the Earth is no longer choking on excess carbon dioxide emissions. Where the air in our cities, towns, and rural areas will be cleaner and the global population healthier. We envisage this world in 2040. By that time, so much that surrounds us can be made from the waste CO2 currently in the atmosphere. From the coffee maker on your countertop to the shoes on your feet. Walk out your apartment building and look up. You'll see aircraft made from converted carbon. And the fuel powering it? You guessed it. It may seem far-fetched today, but we know this is a reality we can attain. Here at XPRIZE, we have a vision. A future in which waste CO2 is captured and converted into useful materials and products on a global scale to help slow and eventually reverse the effects of climate change. And we support breakthrough technologies which can do just that. How do we make this future a reality? We need two things. First, we need early adopters. Consumers demanding and purchasing products which use this technology to encourage industries to lead the charge. Second, we need industries to adopt circular carbon economy approaches, which means that emissions and waste from industrial processes get captured and converted into the very products which produce the waste in the first place. To understand the importance of a circular carbon economy, let's look at just one example, concrete. Now making concrete emits more than 2 billion tons of CO2 every year. By adopting more circular carbon concrete, we can reach nearly 10% of the European Union's 2050 carbon neutrality pledge with just one material. The Buildings of Excellence project in New York City has already designated $18 million towards the design and construction of low carbon buildings using concrete made from converted CO2. And we expect Copenhagen to become the world's first carbon neutral city by 2025. This might not seem like much at the moment, but these projects have the power to inspire and attract more and more investments, expanding global adoption. Once this model becomes profitable, it's only a matter of time before other industries follow. We need carbon conversion technology to take hold throughout our global economy. If that happens, it will mean that waste carbon can act as the new raw material for some of the largest industries on Earth, like fuels, fashion, tech, plastics, and even food. Carbon tech products will become the very fabric of our lives. Activities which were once choking our planet can be saving it and building a sustainable trillion dollar industry. Clothing, homes, high tech materials and fuels could all be created using converted carbon, but it's up to us. As consumers, we need to demand that carbon tech products become standard. So let's imagine a better world in 2040. Low carbon emissions, cleaner air, greener technologies and a healthier population. If we all work together, we can reach this future.